Yusuke Murata is at breaking the internet again. He is redrawing the One Punch Man chapters after the Saitama Garo fight. This is to make Empty Void, a.k.a. That Man, even more broken than Cosmic Garo. So, we get back to Saitama's Zero Punch defeating Garo and the God's power which usually returns to him. But here, Blast notices that all the power coming out of Garo, like fumes, is being absorbed into a mysterious black hole in space. Blast thinks it's the god and tracks the trail to find out there's a freaking ninja inside the black hole. Blast immediately opens a wormhole to attack him. Guys, on the other side of the portal, Blast notices the frail yet demon-like empty void slurping up Cosmic Garo's power like his first bowl of soup in ages. Blast doesn't waste a second and goes all out to attack him. It's the same Blast who sent the Saitama Garo serious punch square away from Earth. Empty Void absorbs and evolves into a freaking cool-looking ninja ever. He cuts the energy attack into four pieces. Cutting energy blasts with swords? That's some next-level ninja shit. While the four pieces create big explosions in space, Blast can't process it. Blast attacks him with more attacks from behind. Bro, this is the most awestruck part of this episode. Empty Void casually grabs the space with stars like a fucking blanket. Like a fucking blanket, he disappears into space like a cool motherfucking ninja, leaving Blast confused. That man is a menace. He is no joke, bro. This is more than a universal threat. Bro, using the very fabric of the universe itself like a blanket? There is no stopping for One Punch Man fans now. I'm saying this. If this empty void guy is Saitama's next opponent, all those arguments about Saitama not being OP are about to go out the fucking window. Later, Blast discusses this with Saitama, Flashy Flash, Hero Association President, and the one-eyed monster Manako. While they're talking about Empty Void's past, Blast receives a tingle like Spider-Man forecasting the attack. Blast teleports the whole Hero Association infrastructure literally off the fucking map just to escape the omnidirectional dimensional slash of Empty Void. Transporting the whole city? Blast is killing it! They come back to the same spot after the slash to find the entire area, as far as their eye could see, slashed out like butter. Again, Flashy Flash receives Sonic's letter. They go for the fight, remember their past, and the same story goes on. I'm sharing the links for these chapters in the description, but they are not translated yet. If the God's avatar is this powerful, what about God? Express your thoughts in the comments and subscribe for more exciting content.